as you're probably reading the title, yes, a low crota is possible. It is in quotation marks because of the oversoul. It is a bit of an issue right now, but maybe we can find some, think of some ideas or find some ways and come together and figure that out. That is a bit of an issue, but we have literally everything else figured out. I believe damage should be done on Banner of Ord Titan. I haven't gotten to too much testing because obviously we're trying to deal with the entire encounter before I get a bit too ahead of myself. So let me show you guys what we have so far. There are a few things to this. So first, this has to be done from a bridge CP or less. So for example, you could have a Shrieker Hallway checkpoint and anything below that and it would work. For solo purposes, you would have to start from a Shrieker Hallway because you can solo the Shrieker Hallway, then go to ERU, then, um, then go and do uh, Crota if you finish ERU. The unfortunate thing about this is you would only have one attempt every time you get to Crota because this has to be from Bridge, technically. So you would have to start from Shrieker Hallway and first try ERU, then you have your Crota attempt. So... The reasoning for that being is because the Necrochasm Catalyst Plate, which I'm activating to grab a sword, is only able to be activated if you are if you started from that checkpoint and you have not wiped. So you are allowed to start from the Shrieker Hallway checkpoint. Go from there. Once you get the Carta, you would oop back and grab the sword. I'll show you guys that right now. Pretty much, in this situation, I had some friends. Uh, they helped me out get the Get the crota from right here we our only wipe was after abyss we went from bridge all the way to here without wiping at all in the solo instance you would just start from hall the shrieker hallway of course but i'm going through this oob all the oob place so you guys know exactly how the like where i'm going through the oob but here i'll, I'll let it play uh, when i'm heading back so you have to so it makes a bit more sense so what i do is i come back to bridge and with Necrochasm, I stand on the plate and I grab a sword. Since I'm able to do that, because we have not wiped since uh, the bridge encounter, so I can still activate the first plate. I bring the sword, and I gotta bring it to Crota now. We spent a few times trying this, and you can, uh, you can drop the sword, pick it up, no ease. You can start the challenge multiple times you could do it in the middle of the encounter and all that so right here i'm just taking the oob all the way to crota using the sword i'm being very careful because there are very very specific turn back zones so there are certain areas that i stand in to let my turn back go down or certain areas that i go from but on the here crystal, as you see crystal, i am on the in crystal. crota and i have a sword one thing to note is the timer on the left hand side. When that goes away, your sword will despawn. Also, the the sword works how it does in Crota. I so if you have damage Crota. Come on. If you damage Crota, the sword will also despawn too. I'll show you guys me damaging him now. Come on man, let me fucking just do damage, please. No, don't track dude, don't track dude, just to make it realistic. Even though So, as you see, I just did half of his health hold with on, the hold sword on, I wipe, bought wipe, the wipe, bridge. Wipe, I can test one more thing. I can test one more thing. So now what I do is I'm heading back to the bridge during the encounter after I'd already downed him. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going through the oob. I, I died here because I got messed up by the, by the turn back, but I get revived. I go back to the bridge. And I turn the corner, the plate is active. I can spawn another sword, pick it up, take it to Crota. So, I use this next sword, obviously avoiding my turnbacks and whatnot. I get the Crota, and uh, I down him, <gasps> basically Yo, solo. No way! Yo, no way! No fucking way, dude! No fucking way, man! No way! Now we gotta 
that one phase or getting getting light and solo or survive this holy shit dude Alrighty, but that is pretty much it so i'll explain it one more time from the start just a basic rundown of the strategy how it works is you gotta get to crota from a shrieker hallway checkpoint it can be before that does not matter but it would be shrieker hallway in a solo purpose you would solo air you first try then once you get to crota you oob you come and activate the plate with Necrochasm Catalyst, or for the Necrochasm Catalyst. Grab your sword, go to Oob back to Crota, start the encounter, instantly do damage. After that, Oob back, Oob back to the bridge, come to Crota, down him again, and then there you go, you have your damage phase. So, now the Oversoul. That is why this video has possible in quotation marks, because the Oversoul is a big issue right now. We have the solo figured out halfway. All we need is Oversoul or a crazy one phase method, and this is done. I will be grinding this full on if we can figure out a way to do so. I have no problem starting from Streaker Hallway, soloing Iryu. I will sit there all day and do that. I do not care. I would love to see this done or do so. So. With that being said, I don't really think there's too much else I can I can touch up on. We got the Oversoul that we can't really deal with and the way to down Crota solo. But um yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, anything you know, any anything at all, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I would love to see this solo done because I will for sure grind it, even if you have to do ear ute for one attempt at Crota. Alrighty, well, thank you guys for watching. Let's see if we can get this done, boys. Later.